Hey, hey, hi guys. Welcome back to another video. In today's DIY, we'll be giving these Lotus candle holders a try. I'm sure everyone is familiar with these candle holders. If not, they're from the Dollar Tree and they come in three different heights. Right now, I am using the smallest. Right here, I'm just using a paper towel with some rubbing alcohol and I'm just giving my candle holder a good cleaning so that it is free of any debris. I'm going to start with these mini spoons, also from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to go ahead and individually break off the handles. I'm pretty sure you've seen this many times here on YouTube. It's very simple and easy. You just place your hand below the handle and where the spoon meets and then just snap it in half and it comes off very easily. To help apply my spoons a lot easier, I'm just going to flip this candle holder upside down. On the back of my spoons, I'm just going to attach them using some hot glue. The placement for attaching these spoons to the candle holder is to apply one right across from the next. Once I have two spoons attached, I'll then flip it and then glue two more across from the next. And then once I have those four glued on, I'll go in between each of those and apply one more spoon. And here's a look at what it looks like with just one row of spoons. Here I am adding my second row of spoons and I'm just dry fitting them in to make sure they're going to fit before I glue them down. Once I was satisfied with the placement of my spoons, I went ahead and grabbed my hot glue gun and began gluing them into place. Here's what my candle holder looks like with two rows of spoons. I was going to stop at two rows, but after that, I decided I wanted a third row. So I went ahead and repeated those steps, and this is what that looks like. And as good as this looks, I could have stopped here, but I wanted to add a bit more. I felt some sparkle would look great with this. So this rhinestone trim, it was. I've used this rhinestone trim before, maybe once or twice on this channel, but this is the first time I've used any this small. If I remember, I'll leave a link for this in the description box, but it was from Amazon. I usually like to use E6000 for my rhinestone trim, but I didn't have any, so I'm just going to use a dot of hot glue. And not at the very bottom, but maybe a quarter of an inch from the bottom of my candle holder. I placed a bead of hot glue and then laid my rhinestone trim there and allowed it to dry for a second. And once that hot glue was set, I'm going to take my time and roll this rhinestone trim up my stem. And I didn't add any hot glue along the way. I just made sure that it was tightly rolled. Once I was satisfied with this outcome, I just took my scissors, trimmed that rhinestone trim, and glued it into place and this is what we have so far this looks gorgeous as is but of course i wanted to add more to the bottom of my stem so i'm just going to glue some more of those spoons 
the technique with my bottom spoons are the same as the top. With this first row, I'll be gluing down eight spoons the same as I did with the top, making sure that I glue the spoons face down. Because of the way I was gluing these spoons on, I didn't have much surface to glue on. So I'll just hold it in place and use my fan to dry the glue. The second row at the bottom is different from the one at the top. At the bottom, I'm only going to be using four spoons. As you can see, I flip my spoons right side up and then I'm going to glue one in between every other spoon. And then with this third row, I'm gluing them the exact same except I'm gluing them to the stem instead of the bottom. I then go over it with my fan to make sure everything is secure and in place and this is what we are looking like. This is how I've styled them with some blue tapered candle holders to match my decor. These would also look nice with some tea light candle holders as well. If you've made it this far, I thank you so much and appreciate you for clicking on today's video. If you've liked this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up or a comment and feel free to subscribe to the channel for future videos. Again, I thank you so much for being here, but until next time, bye.